In this presentation, we look at how to work with complex numbers in the R environment. So first off, let us look at this number here, x, and x is uh, minus 13. Now, I want to find out the square root of minus 13, which would we would know to be a complex number. But that does not work uh, with uh, R. So I'm just going to have a quick look at the mode of x, the way the data is stored, and it is, seems to be a numeric value. The best way to work with complex numbers is actually to formally specify them as such. Now I have minus 13 here, but I'm going to f uh, fully express it as a complex number, minus 13 plus 0i. Now that actually explicitly structures our value as a complex number, as you can see when we use the mode uh, function. Now I'm going to try out the square root of, uh, find the square root of y minus 13, now that it is structured as a complex number. And there we have it there. Uh, 0 plus uh, 3.6055i. Uh, now, there's a few more things we could do with um, complex numbers. There's two more commands, real, re, uh, extracts the real part of y, and in this case it's minus 13. There's a complementary function, im, capital I, small m, that extracts the imaginary part of y, and this case is just zero. People also may be familiar with the idea of a conjugate. Now I'm going to set up a new uh, number here, z, which is minus 13 plus 2i. Now I want to find out the conjugate of that. So the command we would use is capital C, ONJ, conjugate. And there we have it there. So the conjugate of minus 13 plus 2i is minus 13 minus 2i. Two more commands that people may be from, find useful is um, setting up the complex number in terms of the modulus and the conjugate. So this is an alternative way of writing a complex number. So I'm going to use y again, minus 13, and I'm going to find out the modulus of y. Now this is like the absolute value of a vector if in the imaginary real plane, so it's 13. The argument is the other part of the formulation, and it's found using the command arg, capital A, R, G. And here we have that, find that the argument is pi, 3.14.